Hello and welcome to the part 19 of my 2024 F1 season simulation. If you missed part 18, that was the Singapore Grand Prix. Make sure to check that one out. Like you, you don't want to miss that one out. That was that was the craziest craziest race of this season, definitely, without a doubt. And yeah, here we are for the round 19 of the United States Grand Prix. Uh, but quickly want to mention this is my favorite track on the calendar. Uh behind Austria probably. But it's definitely my top three. I really, really enjoy this track. Just, um, just want you know, one to tell you that. Anyways, uh, in terms of weather, it looks like it's going to be completely dry for this weekend, which is uh, the complete opposite of what happened in Singapore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's get into the upgrades first, as there are only two teams with any changes to their car. As we get to the end of the season, we don't really see many teams upgrading whatsoever uh obviously only two teams williams and Haas, actually big uh actually bring uh, bigger upgrade packages to this weekend so that may change a little but i don't think it will change much since they're so far behind the top five teams for example yeah um that's it for the upgrades let's get into sq1 as is a sprint weekend i forgot to mention that uh, so we go to sprint shootout, then it's a sprint race, then it's the qualifying, then it's the main Grand Prix on Sunday, as it's confirmed to be that, like that in the in real life as well. Uh, thankfully, I got the format right before it was officially announced. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Anyways, let's get into SQ1. As we can see, Max Verstappen topping the session provisionally, ahead of Checo Perez, Carl Sainz, Hamilton, Leclerc, Gasly, Alonso, Piastri, Stroll, Norris, Dennis Sinoda, Russell, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Albon. And provisionally out in SQ1 are Ocon, Bottas, Sargent, Magnussen, and Guan Yu Zhou. Uh, yeah, this looks like a uh, pretty interesting uh, packing order behind Red Bull, obviously, because Red Bull will look uh, in insanely ahead at, as of this moment, uh, ahead of the rest of the field, because when you see press, uh, two tens ahead of the next uh, non-Red Bull car, you know, <laughs> you know, it's uh, Red Bull seem to be very quick on this weekend. Um, Ocon really lacking behind Gasly, but only one thousandth of a second behind uh, getting through, essentially, which is unfortunate, but yeah, his mistake. Unfortunately, uh, for Sergeant uh, out in SQ1. For his home Grand Prix in the sprint race so far. Let's get into the final classification as we have only one change on his PS3, uh, getting his lap time deleted, the dropping from what I think was P8 before to P11, so nothing crazy. Uh, and we get through, and with Ocon, Bottas, Sergeant Magnus, and Anjo out in SQ1 in Austin. SQ2 has Max Verstappen. Uh, topping the session once again. I have Charles Leclerc this time, Lennon Norris. Uh, those two seem very closer to the Red Bulls this time around. Perez in P4, uh, Carlos Sainz in B5, and it's Russell, Alonso, Ricardo, PS3, and Sonoda. So both Racing Bulls cars making it into SQ3 at us as of this moment, which is a good, very, very good uh, turnaround in their performance so far. Lewis Hamilton just not making it through provisionally into SQ3. Lance Stroll as well. And it's Gasly, Albon, and Nico Hulkenberg uh, in the 15th so far. Let's get into the final shootout classification. And uh, there's only one change that is Albon gains his left hand lead. Drops from P14 to P15, so no big deal there. Uh, just Hulkenberg moving one position up. Uh, so, per, uh, sorry, uh, finally, uh, final classification. So, Hamilton, Stroll, Gasly, Hulkenberg, and Albon are out in SQ2 here in Austin. So yeah, let's get into SQ3. We have Max Verstappen provisionally topping the session uh, for the pole position for the sprint. Uh, Russell in P2 actually for the Mercedes. That's a very good performance. Norris P3, Perez P4, Charles Leclerc P5, Alonso P6, then it's Ricardo P7, PS3 P8, Sonata P9, and Carl Sainz with no time set as that was an engine failure. Uh, fortunately, it didn't disturb the session. Uh, so... So all drivers ca could get two hot laps in, essentially. Um, yeah. 
Let's get into the final classification as there is, I believe, only one change and it's Perez getting his lap time deleted. So drops to P6 from P4, um, moving up our Leclerc and Alonso. So this is the final sh sh sprint shootout classification. <laughs> Let's recap this, the grid, starting grid for sprint. So we have Max Verstappen lining up on sprint pole uh, ahead of George Russell in P2, then it's Norris, Leclerc, Alonso, Perez, Ricardo, Piastri, Sonoda, Sainz, Hamilton, Stroll, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Albon, Ocon, Bottas, Sergeant Magnussen, and Guan Yu Zhou starting in last. Let's see what will the sprint bring us today. As we see Max Verstappen winning the sprint race here in Austin, ahead of George Russell in P2 and his Alonso completing the sprint podium. Uh, or whatever it's called. Nice Perez in P4, Norris in P5, Shal sorry, Carl Sainz in P6, uh, Lewis Hamilton in P7, and Oscar Piastri with the last point Spain position uh, in the sprint in P8. Then it's the two racing wheel cars just behind points, Ricardo ahead of Sunoda. Then it's Ocon P11, Albon P12, Stroll P13, Gasly P14, Hulkerberg P15, Sargent P16, Bottas P17, Joe P18, Magnussen P19, and Charles Leclerc. With a DNF from a mechanical failure, unfortunately, bringing out of safety car, but it uh, didn't change as much as you would have hoped for. Max Verstappen still comfortably wins the sprint. So let's get into the main qualifying for the for the main Grand Prix. So in Q1, we have Perez stopping the session actually. Out of Carl Sainz, uh, Alonso in P3, Charles Leclerc P4, Max Verstappen P5, then his Russell, Piastri, Norris, Stroll, and Gasly. Lewis Hamilton P11, uh, Albon P12, Sonoda P13, Ocon P14, Hulkenberg P15. Uh, I don't know if, if, if I was supposed to say a big shock, but definitely a uh, unpleasant surprise. Ricardo P16 provisionally knocked down in, in Q1. And it's Bottas, Sargent, Magnus, and Anjou, your, uh, your standard <laughs> Q1 eliminations there. Yeah, uh, Ricardo provisionally out by two thousandths of a second. Uh, not great considering the, the racing scars it look very very good especially uh in sprint and sprint shootout okay let's see if the final specification changes anything and there are no changes this time around so out in q1 in austin are ricardo Bottas, sergeant magnuson and guan yu Zhou. let's get into q2 Provisionally, in uh, topping the session in Q2 is Max Verstappen, then it's Charles Leclerc in P2, Piastri P3, Norris P4, Carl Sainz P5, then it's Alonso P6, uh, Ogon P7, Perez P8, Gasly P9, and George Russell in P10. Just outside the top 10 in qualifying two provisionally is Lewis Hamilton just being beaten by Russell by such a small margin, unfortunately. Uh, last stroll, P12. Uh, provisionally B13 for Hulkenberg, B14 for Snowda, and B15 for Alex Albon. Yeah, uh, Lewis Hamilton might be getting, uh, might be not getting into Q3 uh, once again uh, in this weekend, which is uh, unfortunate for sure. Uh, let's get into the final classification. As we can see, there are no changes. So outing uh, Q2 in Austin is Hamilton, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Snowda, and Alex Albon. So let's get into Q3 and let's see who's on pole position for the side day Grand Prix. As we can see, obviously Max Verstappen in pole position provisionally. Uh, ahead of Fernando Alonso in P2, Perez P3, Sainz P4, Charles Leclerc P5, Adrian Russell P6, Nando Norris P7, Oscar Piastri P8, and it's two Alpine cars, Gasly ahead of Ocon in P9 and P10 respectively. So this is the provisional qualifying free classification. Let's see if there are any changes. As we can see, there are no changes, so that's pole position number four this season. Oh, sorry, not pole position number four, but it's like, it's way, way, way more. Uh, it's probably like in double digits, maybe <laughs> at this point, uh, for Max up in pole position for the uh, United States Grand Prix. Alonso, very good in P2. Perez, decent in P3. Then Steve Ferraris, Russell, uh, managing a P6. Then it's Jimmy Clarence, uh, P7, P8. Not a great qualifying from them and uh alpines calculating the top 10. yep let's recap the starting grid for the sunday grand prix we have max verstappen lining up a ball position for the united states grand prix then it's alonso in p2 press p3 science p4 shot p5 russell p6 norris p7 
Oscar Piastri P8, Gasly P9, and Ocon in P10. Starting just outside the top 10 is Lewis Hamilton in P11, Stroll P12, Hulkenberg P13, Sunday P14, Albon P15, Ricardo P16, Bottas P17, Sergeant P18, Magnussen P19, and Guan Yu in P20 starting last again this weekend. <laughs> so, let's see. The United States Grand Prix. Uh, how will it unfold? So you can see Max Verstappen winning <laughs> the United States Grand Prix, making it his fourth victory uh, this season, which is uh, quite a small number considering he's leading the championship quite comfortably. Uh, with the fastest lap as well. Now Leonard Norris P2, uh, making five places, very good performance there. Alonso in P3, uh, completing the podium. Then it's last draw in P4, uh, making eight places. Very, very, very impressive. P5 for Checo Perez and P6 for Sainz. Next to two Alpine cars of Ocon ahead of Gasly. P7 and P8 for them respectively. P9 for Sargent and P10 for Yuki Tsunoda with the last play, point link position. Then it's Alex Albon in P11, Ricardo P12, Magnussen P13, Bottas and Joe are the two last finishers of this race in P14 and P15 for the two Sauber drivers. DNFs. Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Russell, Leclerc, and Piastri. So, probably explain why there's so many DNFs. Well, uh, Hamilton and Hulkenberg had their mechanical failures uh, each of their own, uh, both causing a safety car. Uh, we also had Russell and Leclerc. No, actually, it was Leclerc and Piastri. Apology from me. Leclerc and Piastri uh, crashing together, uh, bringing out a red flag, and Russell crash on his own uh, later in the race, causing uh, causing a safety car. Uh, so we had a total of three safety cars and a red flag, uh, which is quite a lot, <laughs> not gonna lie. So it shuffled the grid quite a lot, but still the inevitable Max Verstappen still won the Grand Prix for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that, that's the United States Grand Prix for you. Uh, let's recap how it changed the World Drivers Championship uh, with Max Verstappen still leading the way, well, still, uh, he's leading the way since like, ever since like the second race of the season or third race, I don't remember now. 314 points, uh, finally breaking the 300 point mark, which is, uh, I don't know, after round 19 of a pretty slow one for Max Verstappen so far. Four victories, now having the most victories out of any driver this season, uh, took long enough. 12 podiums, 8 pole positions, so it's no double digits added, but it's uh, by far the most. And 10 fastest lap for Max Verstappen as well. Then it's Alonso jumping back into P2, so Charles Leclerc and Lando Alonso fighting for P2 pretty much uh, throughout this uh, last part of the season. They're switching pretty much every single race. Now it's Alonso had uh, 223 points for victory, 7 podiums, 3 pole positions and 2 fastest laps. Charles Leclerc in P3, 208 points, a very, very unfortunate weekend for him. Uh, yeah, zero points scored uh, in, that, this, in this point at the championship. It's not very good. Three victories, four podiums, two poles, and four passes laps. Lana Norris uh, scores uh, the second most amount of points this weekend after Max Verstappen, obviously. Now on 206 points, three victories, six podiums, two pole positions, and a fastest lap. We have Oscar Piastri in P5, 180 points, two victories, five podiums, three pole positions, and fastest lap. Then George Russell in P6, 172 points, a victory, and seven podiums. Press climbs up to P7 now with 161 points, a victory, and four podiums. Carl Sainz up to P8, 156 points, a victory, five podiums, and a pole position. Lewis Hamilton unfortunately drops to P9, but the gap is still very, very small. Only 222 points, uh, technically 30 points behind P5, so uh, no no uh, big upset there just yet. Uh, victory and two podiums to his name as well from the season. P10 for Lance Stroll now, 99 points, so just outside of tri triple digit number, uh, and two podiums for him as well. P11 is Yuki Tsunoda uh, scoring one of the points. Uh, yeah, it's very, very uh, uh, rare to see Yuki Tsunoda score points in simulation after what is like round five, whatever. <laughs> Gasly P12, 46 points on the podium, so those three stay the same with Ocon 341 points as well. 
uh, P13 stays the same. P19 for Alex Albon with a podium. Oh, sorry, P14 uh, with a podium and 19 points. P15 for Nico Hulkenberg, 18 points and a podium. There's Logan Sargent uh, getting two points, but still behind his teammate and Nico Hulkenberg. In P16 with 16 points, so <laughs> nice. Nice coincidence there. P17 for Daniel Ricciardo with 14 points, 18 place. Roger Bottas, 5 points, 19th place. Kevin Magnussen with a singular point. And Gwen Joe still yet to score points in the simulation in P20. So let's see how, it, how the constructors change. So we can see Red Bull leading the way ever so more uh, with 475 points, 5 victories. 16 podiums, that's a huge number now. Uh, 8 pole positions and 10 fastest laps. Uh, the only team that's able to match them any statistic is McLaren with victories uh, from the middle part of the season. Uh, mentioning McLaren, 386 points in P2, 5, five victories, 11 podiums, 5 pole positions and 2 fastest laps. Uh, Ferrari in P3, uh, 11 points gained, a very, very sad weekend for them. 364 points, four victories, nine podiums, two uh, three poles, and four fastest laps. Uh, Aston Martin jumps back to P4 ahead of Mercedes. Uh, that's mostly due to Mercedes' really bad weekend. Uh, both drivers DNFing on Sunday uh, for various reasons. Uh, both teams on 322 points, but Aston Martin has uh, one more victory on three, nine podiums, three poles, and two fastest laps, while Mercedes has only two victories, nine podiums, and one singular fastest lap. Uh, Alpine in P6 uh, extends their lead over Racing Bulls, now on 87 points and a podium. Racing Bulls team in P7, 67 points for them. Uh, Williams in P8, 35 points and a podium. Then it's Haas in P9, uh, 19 points and a podium, and it's Sauber in last so far with five points. So next up is the Mexican Grand Prix, which is not a sprint race this time, but the next race after that is a sprint race, I think. So a lot of sprints towards the end of the season uh, here, and you're all in real life as well. So it could be interesting uh, at that point if the championships are already not sealed, uh, like here, for example. Uh, Mexican Grand Prix, yeah, the track is not ideal, uh, but the only positive thing about the Grand Prix is pretty much the atmosphere and the fans, and just the feeling of being in Mexico, because yeah, the track itself is very, very bad for Formula 1 at the moment, uh, so it may not uh, support many overtakes in this, in this, in this case as well. Uh, yeah, round 20, so we're getting to the last five races of the season, uh, finally entering the 20s. Anyways, let's uh, say that. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, uh, like the video as well if you enjoyed it, and comment down below if what you want to see from my content uh, in the future, obviously, uh, as always. See ya.